Hello and welcome to my dear third standard scientists in today's science class. This is Rohan Saw and as you all know that henceforth I am going to teach you science subject and yes in the previous lecture we had a lot of fun studying the science subject. Now first of all before starting the lecture I would just like to convey you an important message. The message is that stay home, stay safe, you also stay safe and ask your family member also to use the sanitizers, masks, gloves which will help you to protect yourself and your family members as well to stay safe from coronavirus that is COVID-19 and as we start today's lecture before that we will just have a look on the agenda of today's lecture agenda in the sense the planning the objectives of what we are uh, going to do because without planning nothing uh, uh, goes successful right so here we have the objectives the planning for today's lecture the objective of today's lecture is the first objective is match the following of lesson 4 as you all know my dear students that we have already done uh, we have already finished lesson number 3 and we started lesson number 4 in uh, you know in the previous lecture so i hope that now you are uh, you know on the track now you are along with me you are following my lectures regularly so that you know even if you will miss one lecture the sequence will be will become uneven you will uh, you know you, you will not be able to know where have we reached up till where have we done right so uh, basically in today's lecture the first thing what we are going to do is match, match the following of lesson number four which is an objective part right and, and then after give two examples now what is that um, give two example means you uh, have to just give two uh, word answers for the questions you are asked and then after the after the discussion of uh, give two examples we will move on to the one word answers yes you all know give one words yes even in english when i teach you uh, there are the meanings and give one words right uh, you are supposed to give the answer in only one word exactly yes and then uh, we will uh, end up understanding the question and answers which is very 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 much important in the subjective part of your lesson so now let's move and before starting our agenda before working on to our agenda i would just like to give you the glimpse of what have we done in the previous lecture so basically here let us do the revision of previous lecture revision in the sense we will just you know just discuss what have we done so in case if you have not seen unfortunately if you have not seen my previous lectures video you will come to know what have we done and you will be able to cop, cop up with today's lecture and what have we done in previous lecture firstly we have done the question answers of lesson number three which was left out right so in the previous lecture the first thing which we discussed was question answers of lesson number three okay and i explained you each and every question answers we have uh, discussed everything over there of lesson number three and then after we jumped on to lesson number four hard words i taught you how to pronounce the words correct the few uh, the kind of uh, hard words uh, which are which were really hard for you to pronounce at this age then after we discuss the fb that is fill in the blanks of lesson number four again uh, that is again the objective part of lesson number four and then after uh, of lesson number four uh, we discussed tf which is again that uh, objective part so basically after finishing lesson number three subjective part uh, we just commenced with the objective part of lesson number four to commencements to start with so we have just started with the objective part in which we have done three topics hard words fb and tf correct so now let's get started with today's agenda which is match the following and here is the content for you people the a side is always the question and the b side is the answer but here i have just arranged your data my dear students though i will 
send you the PDF of textbook where you will get the perfect questions where this answers will be shuffled means the answers will not be given uh, exactly beside the questions as you can see I have arranged properly question and answers but in textbook the answers will be shuffled ok so you just have to uh, number it properly you just have to uh, tag it properly so that you can just match the answers that is why the heading is match the following ok anyways let us just discuss it, discuss it so what you have to do is I am going to give you the time to repeat the answers after me yes you heard it very correctly I am going to give you the time to repeat the answers after me so that here at least you can revise it twice correct I am going to re I am going to you know my uh, you know my format I always uh, ask you to repeat everything two times correct so at least alone when you are revising it you know the pronunciation you know the answers how to speak it and you have been through it uh, like it is not totally new for you new, new for you if you are sitting all alone to revise the answers so here column A is questions, column B is answers and I have already arranged the answers beside the questions. So, you do not have to match, you just have to go through it. So, here question uh, 1 is dead leaves, then the answer should be form humus, correct? It gives us humus, the dead leaves, dead leaves means the not the green leaves, but, but the dry leaves, correct? Uh, which fall down from the trees after uh, you know after you know dead means uh, the, the word is very much familiar to dead leaves means the leaves which do not have uh, the you know uh, which are not active correct the leaves fall, fall down after uh, becoming black on the ground correct. So, it forms the humus. So, we have just matched one with a dead leaves forms humus ok now repeat after me dead leaves forms humus, dead leaves forms humus ok good I hope that you are repeating after me if not please do ok. Question 2 clay have you seen clay my dear students clay yes. So, if you are not seen it is ok uh, you must google it if you want uh, the knowledge for it because um, you know you should uh, use the mobile phone for the good uh, works not only for the game. So, I suggest you to search clay in the uh, you know uh, in the google because uh, there are many kinds of even even there, is, there are the toys of the clay you can play with the clay. So, basically here the answer should be fine pieces of rocks. So, repeat after me clay fine pieces of rocks second time clay fine pieces of rocks. Moving on to the third one, the question uh, is manure. I told you how to pronounce it while we were discussing hard words if I am not wrong. So, it makes soil fertile correct. So, we have just made the match of 3 and makes the soil fertile is 3 and C. Manure makes the soil fertile. Now, repeat after me manure makes soil fertile a second time manure makes soil fertile ok. Let us move on to the last match the column question earthworm. I will show you the photo of earthworm uh, further when we are discussing uh, the another topic after match the following. So, here earthworm matches to leaves in soil obviously earthworms you, you might have seen in your compound if uh, in the rainy season uh, many a times earthworms right uh, it leaves in the soil it, it uh, you know it digs a kind of hole and they leaves inside in, inside the soil beneath the soil right. So, that is why the earthworm the answer is leaves in the soil. So, these are too easy my dear students yes I have directly written the answers uh, in front of the uh, questions uh, I may or may not send you this PDF so that uh, I'll just work on it and uh, let you know in the short while that when am I going to send you the PDF yes so as such you just have to just remember this let's move on to the next topic now here we have come to give two examples of like I said you have to just give the answer containing two words yes 
you have to just give two examples of each question. Uh, let us see how the question, uh, what is the pattern of the question and everything will come by the way we are discussing it. Okay, here is the first question, let me read it aloud and my dear students, when I ask you to repeat the answers, you have to repeat the answers after me. When I ask you to repeat the answers, you have to speak aloud, you have to repeat after me. Okay, let me just read the question first. Soil provides these two plants. What do soil provides to plant? What, how, what, what is the role of the soil? Uh, how can it help the plants? What does it provides to the plants? It provides water and nutrients, right? When we pour the water to the, uh, when we water the plant, uh, water the plants, the soil plays the main role to hold the water, make it moisture, right? So the soil provides these to the plants. The answer is, just repeat after me, my dear students, water and nutrients. Repeat me second time, water nutrients excellent if you are repeating after me i must say that your pronunciation will be very much clearer at the end of the lecture for each answers okay uh, the next question is colors of soil colors of soil what could be the colors of soil the colors are red and black Okay, my dear students, I have just brought a picture of a red soil and a black soil for you, uh, so that uh, you know it. Uh, you can just see and you can uh, observe it very carefully, so that even if you if you see anywhere the red soil and the black soil, you will be e uh, easily able to recognize it. And uh, if you can see in the photo the red soil, which we have seen many a times, yes, even uh, if you go to the uh, you know, uh, if you, uh, especially if you go to Rajasthan, you you uh, you will be able to see the red soil in many places, and this black soil is very. If you can see in the photo, is very uh, you know famous for planting, uh, for you know for farming there. This is the photo of farm I have brought for you. So I hope this is clear to you. So let's repeat color of soil. Now repeat the answer after me: red and black. Repeat a second time, red and black, excellent. Let us move on, here the things that soil contains, what things do the soil contains? Let us see, the first one is air, the second is water, these two are the things which the soil uh, catches hold of, uh, the, uh, the soil contains uh, within. So repeat the answer after me, air, water. Repeat a second time, air and water. Okay, my dear students, if, if you remember that I told you the soil plays the main role. So, if the air is not there properly in, in the soil, how could the plants grow? Plants need water, sunlight, fresh air, everything in the proper amount. Yes, uh, because of that only trees gives us oxygen, right? It, it exhales the oxygen and it inhales the carbon dioxide which we exhale. So, this is how the trees maintain our environment and for that, for the proper growth of trees and plants, soil must have the proper amount of air within it, right? Also the water because uh, you, you must be knowing that some, uh, there is a uh, thing which we call as a ground water, correct? When you dig the well, you get the water from within the ground, correct? So, there is the air and water both in the soil. The next question is, animals that live in soil, okay, a kind of insects, animal I mean to say is insects. So which are they, earthworm and snails. So earthworm and snails are the two uh, kind of insects or animals we can say which lives in the soil. So my dear students, I have just um, brought the photo for you of uh, earthworm and snail. So that uh, to make it clearer to you that what is earthworm and snail, uh, snail. and uh, here is the picture of earthworm. If you have seen, uh, I am very sure that you have seen many a times and you also dislike this, but I am not uh, so showing this photo to, you know, for <laughs> your inconvenience, it's just for your knowledge, right? So that uh, it, it's very much clear to you what is an earthworm, right? And this is a snail. 
yes if you can see this is the shell in which it hides inside yes and this is also sometimes if the snail is you know uh, pulled out out of it and uh, this could also be the musical instrument uh, in India uh, in the temples we use the mus musical instrument after the snail grows and it leaves its shell we use this the back part the back portion of the snail as a musical instrument we blow it uh, with the mouth correct so it makes a good sound this is we uh, we use in temples many a times right so this was the photo of earthworm and snail so let us repeat the answer what is the question animals that live in the soil repeat the answer after me earthworm snails Repeat a second time, earthworm, snails, excellent, okay. So now we are moving on to the other part, to the third part of the today's lesson. The third part of today's lesson is one word answers. Before this, there were the, there were the two, two words answer, if you remember, you just had to give the two examples of each question, right? So here we are jumping onto the one word answers what you have to do you have to just answer in one word for the questions asked to you right it's very easy very simple so let's have a look on it let me just read the first question and then i'll ask you to repeat the answers and th at that time you have to repeat the answers after me the first question is top layer of the earth where plants grow the topmost layer of the earth where the, where the plants grow that layer of the earth is called soil. The answer is soil. You just have to answer in one word. You don't have to write full sentence that the top layer of the earth where the plants grow is called soil. No. That if you will write that, I will put a cross, big cross. You just have to write the, un the one word answer asked to you as per the question. Correct? So the answer is soil. Okay. Repeat the answer after me. Soil. How is it pronounced? Repeat the second time. Soil. Excellent. Okay. Let us move on. To the next question okay the next question let me read it out for you read it, read it aloud small parts of the dead plants and animals found in the soil I repeat the question small parts of dead plants do you remember the dead leaves uh, we did in match the following and animals found in the soil so it is called humus right it is called humus the small parts of dead plants and animals which are found in the soil uh, you know sometimes uh, when the animals die they are uh, you know they are covered with the soil uh, after a few months yes even when the humans die we bury the humans correct even the dead plants when it falls uh, uh, on the ground uh, they are uh, you know they are covered uh, after a lots of uh, changes in a time they are covered in the soil so they are then called humus right so repeat the answer after me you must a second time you must so by now i hope that you have the correct pronunciation with you right let us move on to the next question the question is you must provides this to the plant now what does the humus provides to the plant why is humus important for the plants because it provides nutrients right nutrients very very much important again for the plants Okay, so the answer is nutrients. Now repeat after me, nutrients. Repeat the answer second time, nutrients. Okay, so let us move on to the next question. The next question is here in front of your screen, in, on, in your screen. Okay, so farmers add this to make the soil fertile. You know farmers, the one who works in the farm, right? Uh, again uh, let me show you the photo yes my dear students I showed you this photo while I was showing you the uh, while I was explaining you the black soil red and black soil the difference I was showing it to you so this is how the farmer works correct they plow the uh, plants with the hand they you know they uh, plant the trees everything uh, whatever they do is uh, with the hand so farmers add this to make the soil fertile what do the farmer farmers add to the soil this is the soil what do they add to the soil to make the soil fertile that is the question right so what do they add they add manure to the soil right so the answer is manure now repeat the answer after me manure repeat it a second time manure okay so 
let us move further now we are up to the fourth part of the lesson that is question and answers the subjective part we can say of our lesson is now here in front of you we are up to the question answers we are going to discuss the question answers and here is the question one and my dear students when i ask you to repeat the answer after me you have to repeat the answers after me we are not wasting the time we are uh, you know i'm teaching you how to read it because even after repeating many times you know uh, when you listen to something again and again you then have the habit you you then then are able to remember it very easily so this is the reason why am i asking you to repeat the answers after me so here is the first question what is soil now throughout the lesson we were doing soil 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 but what is soil so answer is here soil is the top layer of the earth where the plants grow now this is also which we uh, we solved in the one word answer right if you remember just before the question answers okay so repeat the answer after me soil is top layer of earth where plants grow now repeat the answer after me uh, the second time soil is top layer of earth where plants grow yes by now it should be very clear that the topmost layer of the earth where we grow the plants that layer is called the soil okay let us move on to the next question okay so the next question is what is humus made of now this is very important question what is humus made of you need to know how is humus made and of what is it made so the answer is here humus is made of dead plants and animals present in the soil it's very clear um in the match the following was also there yes uh if i show you the match the following again my dear students see dead leaves forms humus now do you understand why have we matched dead leaves with uh, uh, form humus right i hope you now uh, get to know that why have i matched it because here humus is only made up of dead dead plants and the animals present in the soil okay so now repeat the answer after me humus is made of dead plants and animals present in the soil okay now repeat the answer a second time humus is made of dead plants and animals present in the soil clear so now um, you should remember the answer because the answer is very very easy because many of the answers are twisted so, some of the time it is asked in a match the following form some are asked in the two word some are asked in a one word form but the concept is very much same very much similar right so you should not get puzzled sometimes when the question is twisted right so uh, it is there is a possibility that i may twist the questions and asks you uh, and, and and it is being asked in an exam so many a times what happened when the question is asked in a twisted form you write something else whatever you remember so make sure the concept should be clear but just don't mug up the answers that is uh, what i want you just have to understand the answers okay let us jump on to the question number 3 question 3 is let me read it out for you how does humus help the soil so how is humus helpful to the soil and here is the answer let me read it first humus helps to hold water and provide nutrients for the soil very clear very easy very simply said very sim in the simple language it is okay now repeat the answer after me humus helps to hold water and provide nutrients for the soil so now like i said that when we uh, uh water the plants what happens that we just 
pour the water um, and the water sprinkles over into in the ground some, yes some directly to the leaves some directly to the trunk but uh, f maximum water falls in the into the uh, uh, soil on the ground where the plant is uh, grown or where the trees are grown so that soil uh, you know uh, humus helps the soil to hold that water which we pour uh, on the plants correct and then again it provides it to the roots of the plants which is beneath the soil correct which is beneath the ground and also it provides the nutrients to, uh, for the soil yes because of uh, that nutrients the plants grows uh, the, the growth of the plant is uh, you know perfectly made there okay let us move on to the next question question 4 name any two things that soil contains now again this is a kind of two uh, word answer but we have to answer in the sentence as this is a question answer okay so the answer is soil contains air and water as simple as that uh, we have already seen this in the two words answer. so my dear students if you can see in this uh, uh, you know give, give two examples it is already written that things that the soil contains air and water the same thing which we are uh, discussing here that uh, name any two things the soil contains yes answers are same right again let me tell you if you remember one answer you don't have to mug up the second answer you just should remember that how uh, you know your sentence formation should be clear only then will you be able to make your work easier correct otherwise you have to mug up you don't have any way out for that yeah so the answer is soil contains air and water okay now repeat the answer after me my dear students soil contains air and water now repeat a second time soil contains air and water so now i hope that uh, you will easily be able to uh, learn these answers and moving on to the last question an answer of this lesson number 4 question is write any one use of soil now there are a lot of uses we do of soil we, we i even showed you that the black soil the farmers used to you know um, for the farming and different uses are there for the soil but you only have to jot down any one use of a soil so here is the one use which i have written Soil is a home of many insects or animals, we can even say, like ants, earthworms, snails, correct? Uh, so, even the, uh, you know, frogs live uh, beneath the ground, beneath the soil. So, this is the uh, point which I remembered that it is home to many insects and uh, animals, right? So, repeat the answer after me, my dear students. Soil is home of many insects like ants, earthworms, snails, etc. Okay, now repeat the second time. Soil is home of many insects or animals like ants, earthworms snails etc okay so now i'll just give you the glimpse of what we have done in today's lecture and this is the end of the lecture so first of all uh, we uh, so uh, we i just showed you the match the following the question and the correct answer matched uh, already uh, matched uh, pair with it and after that give two examples answer uh, we solved here yes some of the pictures also I showed you if you remember of uh, earthworm and snail and then uh, one word answers uh, we solved we just had to give one uh, the answer in one word okay then after moving on we solved question answers there were five question answers some of which were related to the two words answers two examples and one word answers also okay so lastly I thank you for watching this video lecture uh, you know even during this hard time you are uh, you know watching the lecture you are uh, 
coping up, up with the uh, teachers and you are uh, you know coordinating cooperating everything i can say that for you at this age in vacation to study is very hard but you are doing it so i really appreciate your efforts and last but not the least i would say that stay safe stay sanitized means wash your hands regularly even use sanitizers and masks also when you go out you should wear the hand gloves so that your hands and uh, everything is protected because the your because the your hands are the main thing uh, you know which transfers the in, uh, you know viruses from here and there so this is the last suggestion and yes also uh, do the homework regularly and also not note down everything in your book date wise okay thank you once again goodbye